A sling that's made from a single piece of cordage using only one knot, the bowline. Perhaps the easiest sling to make, the noodle is a great sling for making on the fly. I'm going to show you how to make one of these slings and also a few tips and tricks. All you need to get started is a piece of cordage. Firstly, tie a bowline on the end of your cordage. This will be your finger loop. This loop can be placed directly onto the finger or pass through itself to create a cinching knot. Now find the place in the middle of the string to make your pouch. Again, you'll make a bowline. Pass the end of the cordage through the loop, around the back, and back through itself, and then adjust the bowline to roughly the size of the pouch that you want to have. The pouch size and cordage diameter will determine what style projectile you can throw. Once you have the first bowline tied, it's time to tie the opposite side. To tie the opposite side, you're basically tying a bowline but in reverse. You take the tail of the previous bowline, create a loop by twisting that tail, and then pass the bowline through the loop, and then take the tail and pass that through the bowline loop. Be sure to get all the cord lengths equal before cinching down on all of the knots. So there you have it, you now have a noodle. Be sure to seat the projectile safely into the pouch, as a big problem with noodles is that sometimes projectiles can become lodged in the pouch due to it being very holy. This can be combated by adding tape to the pouch, creating a solid design, as opposed to the classic noodle design. When using a cinching finger loop, there is a way to have it on your hand. Not all cinching finger loops are equal, however the same principles apply. You should have the cinching side towards the th thumb and set deeply into the finger. What this does is it prevents rocking of the sling. You can imagine that the sling is under tension and any lateral movement left or right will be stopped either by the finger moving left or by the cinch moving right, keeping the distance of the cords roughly the same. However, if you are to turn the cinch around the opposite way, the same is not true. It is for left movements because it will still hit the finger, but as it moves towards the right, it will actually open the sling up creating a larger gap and more variance in your shot. Just a little trick. 